Tonight, a wild scooter ride caught on camera. Around 7.40 Thursday morning, Department of Transportation cameras zeroed in on a man riding an electric scooter on the shoulder of I-94 in Oak Creek as cars and trucks zip by at some 70 miles an hour. I mean, that seems pretty horrifying. Having cars fly by you on the interstate? Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that personally. The sheriff's office says they started getting 911 calls when the scooter rider got onto the interstate at Rawson. He briefly exited at Drexel, then got back on, continuing southbound. His journey relatively smooth, at one point seen using his foot to get the scooter going. He's then seen scooting around a construction crew. After five miles, he exited at Ryan Road and turned onto 13th Street, but had a bit of a stumble. Back on board, the man eventually riding out of camera view before any deputies could track him down. He was all the way down by the Ikea, by Drexel. Uh, by the time our deputy got to the area, he had already left the freeway. It's unclear where this guy was going or why he chose to use a scooter on I-94, but Sergeant Daniel Hansen says it was a dangerous and illegal place for the guy to ride. Is this guy pretty lucky to go five miles on I-94 without getting hit? Yeah, I, I think uh, not everyone is paying attention to the road as closely as they should be. So anytime you're walking or riding on the freeway, you definitely risk being hit. And Hillary, the rider avoided a pretty big ticket. He did, Derek. Yeah, walking, riding a bike or a scooter on the freeway. It's a $204 citation. By the way, the scooters are designed to slow their speeds when they're in a restricted area, such as the interstate, which is probably why the guy had to use his foot quite a bit to keep going. Hillary Mintz reporting live in Oak Creek. Thank you.